When comparing two experimental values, use percent difference. When comparing an experimental value to an accepted or theoretical value, use percent error. Now, for this one, using a vernier caliper, which is a measuring tool, we measure this as the thickness of the coin. Your friend measures it to be that thickness. So but my question is, are we comparing what physics says versus what we measured, or are we comparing two measurements? I think it's percent error because um, it says starred. One of you has measured the thickness wrong or is a faulty instrument. Well, are they both measuring? Uh, yes. Yes. These are two measurements. We actually don't know which one is right. Okay, so it's, oh, it's percent difference? Yes. What goes on the bottom of these percent error or percent difference calculations is what we think is the most true value or closest to the truth. The accepted value, uh, that is when you know, scientists study stuff for years and years and years. And they say, you know what? Every time we measure the acceleration due to gravity, it's 9.8 here in West Bloomfield. So that is the accepted value for that. But whatever we've measured you know, many, many times, and we're all agreeing on it, that's the accepted value. So that's what we think is the right value. So if we do have an accepted value, that goes in the bottom. If we don't have an accepted value, in other words, all we have is measurements and maybe only a couple measurements, the, the closest thing to the truth is what, what is this? If we've got two measurements, why the heck am I putting this crazy thing on the bottom? What is this that's highlighted there? Oh, the average between the that's two the values? the average. Because if we don't have a true value, an accepted value, or a theoretical value, the average is what we're going to use as the closest thing to the truth. So that's why for percent difference on the bottom, you put the average of the two experimental values. For percent error, you put the accepted value on the bottom. It's always the, most, the thing that we think is most accurate on the bottom. These kind of calculations when using physics, it's always the theoretical value that goes on the bottom. Why do we put the theoretical value, the one that corresponds with physics theories and laws? Because we think physics is right. Now, if you found that physics is wrong, it might be, and if you can do repeated trials and you can show that it's consistently wrong, you just won the Nobel Prize, congratulations. But if you can't, uh, if you can't disprove the theory, uh, we, put, we always put the theoretical value on the bottom. When you have a bunch of laws all in one big, uh, big idea or set of ideas, we call that a theory. Theory is not a hypothesis. Theory is when we've established, here's how everything works and it's worked over and over again. Uh, we put all those laws together. That is called a theory.